This is our core warehouse. It is over 100,000 square feet. In each one of these boxes that you see, there's typically 1.5 meters of core. And if you took every one of these core and you laid them end on end, you could get from Regina to Winnipeg. A prop from the University of Saskatchewan uh, started to collect the core that they were drilling um, from back from the 40s because he recognized the value of it and they started to store it in Saskatoon. In 1953, uh, we were starting to get a lot more core, so they started to store the core here in Regina. It was actually stored in an old chicken processing plant. And then finally they decided in 1958 to build the facility here. In Saskatchewan, uh, the regulations are set that you don't have to take a core to drill a well, but if you do take a core, it belongs to the government of Saskatchewan, so it eventually comes here. This is where geologists come and generate their ideas and get ideas on, on where to drill next and, and whether it's through development or whether they're looking exploring for a new pool. It's really the, the basic building blocks for the entire oil and gas industry. Most of our clients are primarily based in Calgary and in Saskatchewan, but we have had visitors from as far away as, as the Netherlands. And just last week, I had somebody come in from Germany to take a look at uh, some of our core. In order to really understand what the characteristics of the rocks are in the subsurface, you know, you, you want to get physical samples, which are, are core samples. And so that allows you then to look at the mineralogy, you know, the kinds of uh, rock types that are there, what, you know, what the porosity is, their fractures, what the actual rock type is uh, that exists in the subsurface directly. For geologists, the core is like a book. This is our library. You put the core out and we, it tells us a story. So you can tell the rock type limestones, dollar stones versus sandstones and mudstones. And you can do the things like geological logging and other things, petrophysical work, um, um, mineralogical, chemical analysis, things like that that are really important. So that's why actually having your hands on the core or getting core samples, really important. This is a rock that's taken from about a depth of about 1300 meters in southeastern Saskatchewan. And you can sort of see that it's brown and it's got oil in it. And that's the reason why it's brown, it's because there's oil. And the oil happens to be in the tiny little pore spaces, in the tiny little holes that exist between the mineral grains and, and the sand grains themselves. So heavy oil is generally darker, more visible. You can have a friable, loose sand that's held together by the oil. So that's very visible. Things in the southeast of the province, in the Mydale Weyburn area, it's lighter oil, but you can identify that by putting the rock that's oil saturated under a UV light. You can tell there is some oil staining, but it's not as evident as if you put it under the UV light. When the light is shining on it, you can, it enhances the oil in the rock. And the mottled yellow color that you see is oil. And it's a medium weight oil, so actually a really good oil for production and uh, it's one you find in Southeast Saskatchewan. Industry takes a look at this, they take a look and see what kind of properties are in there, what, what's it look like, what's the rock telling them, and when they have that knowledge, it helps them reduce their risk for exploration and it also helps them reduce their risk for development. PTRC will assemble a team of, in industry that wants a certain project done and they identify what that project is, and then we can work with PTRC to answer the questions that industry has or academia has. And PTRC provides funding for us to do analytical work and analysis that we would not be able to afford to do. Uh, so it's great for us to get more data uh, for, the, for the province and to get more data out there. 
And we're also, it's great for PTRC because we are, our time is an in-kind contribution so their research dollars can go further in their projects. There's other research that was done in the Weyburn field and it's suggested there was ionic trapping happening in the reservoir. So essentially that there was a decreased porosity in the reservoir. So that's obviously a problem if you're trying to get more oil out of there and you're actually creating calcite crystals and decreasing porosity that's already low. So we wanted to go and see if this was actually happening. So what we did is we, we compared a really old core from the 50s that came up to this core from 2011. This is a sample from the new well being drilled uh, in 2011, so it's a decade of CO2 injection. And what we found is that there was no calcite being uh, formed in this portion of the reservoir in this sample. So there's not a decrease in porosity, so the reservoir is able to maintain producing oil and also maintaining uh, a secure storage site for CO2. The work that we're doing is helping understand where the CO2 is and where it's not going and where it is being stored safely for hundreds of years. And PTRC's uh, support for research here, uh, support for the stuff that we've done in terms of experimental work, numerical work, all the way from Weyburn, I will say has not really been possible without PTRC's uh, support. We're working together to give access to the core, to help fund projects. Working together, we can share our expertise on the geology and PTRC can help assemble the projects as what's relevant, what what do what does industry want?